Assalamualaikum and a lovely, lovely, lovely morning to all of my students and whoever is watching this video right now. Uh, I hope and pray that you all in your very good health, enjoying another beautiful hot day. Yeah, it's um, getting hotter and every single day is really hot, uh, but we need that, right? So, um, Oh, yes, hot days, very, very hot days. And uh, these hot days are even a blessing. Um, you know how? Yes, these hot days help uh, mangoes ripe. These hot days help dates ripe, um, watermelons ripe, uh, melons ripe, uh, and peaches, and uh, whatever the fruit uh, you are, um, you can find in the market. Um, we're getting uh, all that. This hot season this hot weather helps them get ripe if it's not that hot we will not be able to get the real real sweet dates and real sweet mangoes so yes it is a blessing so uh, every weather every season is a blessing because we need that our body needs it the environment needs it the plants need it uh, uh, the insects the butterflies the birds um, every single person needs all these different kind of uh, uh, seasons and we're very lucky that in Pakistan we have all the seasons we can enjoy all the season and uh, we have all kind of plant farms so alhamdulillah alhamdulillah we're very 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 lucky so we love these lovely hot days as well you should love every single day you should love all the seasons uh, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made them for some reason and they're there uh, to uh, help us in many ways because we really really need uh, the sunlight uh, that is very good for our body for the bones as well right uh, for the soil for the plants for the fruits to get ripe um, and uh, there, there, are, there are many reasons you can even find out the reasons of why is this summer the hot summer is really really important for us and what um, does it give us uh, how it is helpful the summer season a very hot uh, day are very helpful for us right Yes, so weather even starts with W, weather, and um, you know, we did water yesterday, we forgot, and we did that at the end. So today we are going to look at the pictures, a couple of more maybe, um, the one which we have done yesterday, uh, I have already displayed them, my cute little whale and my cute walrus, and um, not so cute warm they are but <laughs> the warm and the veal and the window and the web and the watermelon so i just want to share a poster with you um, uh, with a picture of um, some more things uh yeah you can see them over here so we did this um uh, this is uh, uh there is a worm there's a different kind of form you can see over there right and then we have a wolf yes and then we have a watch wow yes and this is a wrist watch this is wrist wrist in starts with w w r i s t wrist wrist watch so wrist watch is which we wear on our wrist right and then the watermelon and the uh, water both um, and I told you that why do we call it watermelon? Because it has got almost, I think, 80% or 90% of water in it. So it's very, very important that we um, intake uh, watermelon uh, along with water, but don't uh, mix them up. Uh, take them separately. Yeah, right. So these are a couple of pictures which I wanted to uh, show you. And then I have another thing which I want to show you. There's a cute little poem of W, which I want uh, you to um, sing that with me, right? So we will just try to sing that. So this says, really would not wear a hat, wear a hat, wear a hat, really would not wear a hat, wear a hat, wear a hat, really would not wear a hat, it made his hair too flat. Yeah, that happens when we wear a hat and when we wear a dupatta, like very, uh, uh, we just uh, stick it to our head, our hair get flat. So, Billy does not like it. So, I wish 
you would, Aunt Wanda said. Wanda said, Wanda said. So this um, his aunt, uh, uh, her aunt uh, Wanda. Wanda starts with W. So uh, wish starts with W. So she said, I wish you would. Aunt Wanda said, I wish you would. Aunt Wanda said, and plopped one on his head, right? So then she said, okay, because it's very hot and you really have to go out. So you need to wear that. So, so Willie would not want to wear, right? So this is a little poem uh, just uh, to uh, share with you, right? So uh, all the words are already displayed, which we have done before. And um, now we are going to do the tracing for our W. And that's the same as we have done yesterday. Uh, the same W, that was a small one, and this is the capital one, right? The same four strokes, it has the same shape. But as I told you yesterday, that uh, capital W comes in the first three lines, and the small W fit in the um, in between the two lines, right? Because the W, the small W, is the grass letter, right? We are going to revise them again. Uh, so this W, the capital W, we are going to practice that today, okay? And for that, um, yeah, we need to have this alphabet fun book. Yeah, we need to have this one. And we will be doing today page number 26. Oh, wow. We have some, some video over here. It is so cute, yeah. Take out uh, page number 26 of our, this book, A to Z. Okay, that's good. Yes. What do you see over here on page number 26? What do you see? Yeah, you see a whale. Right. You see a whale. Okay, so we are going to take our page number 26, right? Page number 26. Wow, it's a cute little whale. And there is a cute, a little bigger whale. Wow, she's so cute, right? So this says, uh, whales live in the ocean. Yeah, whales live in the oceans. And why? Because this is a very, very huge animal, very huge animal. And even the oceans are really, really huge and they're deep. So a whale lives in the ocean. Yeah, okay. So you're going to do that. And then uh, we are going to trace the W. It's the same shape, very easy as I've done yesterday. We already practiced W. So this is the same W which we're going to practice, right? Like one, two, three, four, same as we did. One, two, three, four, and down, up, down, up, right? We did this yesterday, remember? Down, up, down, and up. So that's the same way. And now we're going to do this on the book. We're going to practice this with a finger first. Right, this from here. Down, and up, down, and up. It's totally, the, it's exactly the same uh, formation as we did um, a W yesterday, the small W. So this is the same down, up, down, up, right? So you're going to do that. Okay, now everybody take out your pencils. Yes, please take out your pencils. Oh, it's my pencil. Yeah, okay. So now you are going to phrase it over here. W, right? Yes, phrase it over here. Very good. Now, remember to pick, uh, put the book flat on the table so you can write well and sit comfortably so your posture is perfect. And when you're sitting comfortably, when you have put the book properly on the table, then you'll be able to write nicely, All right? Yeah. So put the book flat and start tracing on the line. You've done it yesterday, so that is easy for you now. You can do that today. 
it is good okay yeah yeah, yeah i know because we have done it yesterday we have already practiced it so that will be even easy so now uh flip the page flip the book and come up on page number 27 over here and yeah, now you're going to practice this w over here right okay that's great so that is lovely and uh, uh, you're going to do the first line over here in this one right very good that's great so do this w down up, down up very easy down up and down and up right okay so do that you're going to do the first line only because this you need to do for your homework okay don't hurry uh, because if you're going to hurry uh, you will not be able to uh, be on the line maybe you will uh, go off the line so please there's no no need to hurry as i tell you always do it nicely gently right yeah good okay now just come down and there is an exercise that says that uh, we're going to color the spaces with the capital letter w right they've given the spaces in the whale over here if you see see they've given the spaces over here right so we have to color only the places which have got w in it okay so uh, there are like some other alphabets as well and there is w as well so uh, first of all uh, you're going to count how many w's do you see and then we are going to uh, color them uh, you can color uh, them gray or you can color them um, a little blue as well like this right that's up to you so you're going to count how many w's we can see over here if you look at that that starts if, the, if you're going to start from the tail is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven right there are 11 spaces uh, which have w in it so we're going to color them not this not this not even this, this, and this, okay? So you're going to color only the spaces which has got W in it. Um, you could pick any of the two colors, um, the gray or uh, the lighter blue, right? So because uh, the gray, uh, maybe you can uh, take light gray as this one, uh, and uh, you can take a little dark gray like this one inside over here. So that's up to you. You can even pick blue color so you're going to uh, do that okay so uh this was our literacy class in which we have done the capital w today uh and we are going to complete our alphabets very soon so uh, right now i need to say goodbye from this class and i'll see you in the next class inshallah till then we stay safe be happy and be grateful for whatever we have right so um till we see each other I'm going to say goodbye and allow face.